When you set it up and operate it properly, a laser cube is totally safe and a lot of fun! Make sure to view the safety guidelines and owner's manual which came with your cube. You don't want to shine the laser on people or animals. Laser shows look best when seen from a safe distance and should be installed 3 meters above the floor wherever people may be present. One way to make sure laser beams don't shine on people is to use the beam blocker. Raise it up and tighten it down to cut off the lower projections. There's a tripod mount at the bottom so you can make sure it's securely fastened during use. Other safety measures include a jumper and a lock. Both must be installed properly in order for the laser cube to function. These cubes have a built-in battery and don't need the power cable to operate, but you can plug it in for longer shows. For now, we'll use the built-in battery. Before continuing, plug the power cable into your cube to charge it up. When the light is green, it's fully charged and you can unplug it. Connect the data cable to an Android, Windows, or Mac OS device. Make sure all cables are securely fastened. With the jumper, keys, and data cable installed, you're ready to start using your laser cube. Turn the power switch and safety lock on. Start Laser OS. There are tutorial videos which cover getting started with Laser OS, so be sure to check those out. Safety zones can be set up in Laser OS which provide areas where the beam won't shine in order to protect cameras and other sensitive equipment. When using the advanced engraving or balloon popping features, make sure to wear protective goggles or sunglasses. When the laser cube is not in use, turn off the power and safety keys and close the beam blocker completely.